Hey guys, this is Tom from Small Scale Life. Hope you've had a great week. Just wanted to show you the low cost lighting system I've got, grow light system I've got for my seedlings. And also give you a little check up and see, show you how how the seedlings are doing in there. So tomatoes and peppers and, and more peppers down that way. We'll show that in a minute. But, um, you know, I whipped up this, uh, this lighting system from spare, spare pieces that I had uh, in, the, in the garage. And this is a 2x4 that uh, was really junk wood. Um, we were going to get rid of it. And then it was like, hey, I can use this for, for the grow light stand. So what I've got going on is this horizontal piece is 2x4 and it's 14 inches long. And this vertical piece, that is 18 inches tall. Then this 1x3 was hanging around and this is a this is a foot long here. So this goal post, it's pretty stable. Really stable. I added this L bracket. I had an extra couple of these for, for Ray's bed project. Um, I added one to each side, but you can tell, I mean, this thing is really stable, which I like. I really like that. Um, I used the one inch conduit. This is PVC conduit. And uh, I drilled, this was part of my system that I had when I was gardening on shelves like these. But um, these uh, PVC are cut to handle the, the four foot long uh, shop lights. And then I drilled eye hooks in, into them. Focus here, focus. So I have eye hooks on both ends. Focus. There we go. Eye hooks on both ends, which attach the chains, which hold up the lights. Now the benefit is, is that I can move these lights up however tall I want them. If I really easy, if you have both your hands free, of course. So you can move these up and maintenance whoop, maintenance the plants underneath so watering um, taking care of business uh, a couple things i'll show you i do have some legginess here this is broccoli down here you can see how long and spindly they got so that's something to keep an eye of also this dill here is pretty leggy leggy means just long thin reaching for the light and these guys grew first so these were the first out of the ground and uh, they just got a little spindly as I was fiddling around with this uh, lighting system peppers are coming which is great I had these slow starts here this row was slow and that is a sweet bell pepper a little bit older seeds so uh, you can see this one is coming up right there but the rest of these peppers are really coming up nice pretty excited about that I'm surprised by the dill <clears throat> I think the commercial dill seed that I had just didn't work. Commercial meaning like burpee product. This dill that's popped up here is from seed I saved in 2011. So that's doing really good. The basil is popping. Came up really nice. Um, and then I've got next to that, I've got some oregano and rosemary in these two, two rows here that just haven't done anything yet. But I'm not really worried about that. Oregano I can get from my mom. And rosemary, I might just have to buy that. So here in the pepper side, peppers are on this side. Peppers are starting to come, which makes me happy. They were uh, really slow, as usual. But they're starting to pop now. And, uh, you know, one thing you'll notice, uh, I did do what I always hate doing, but I did this in this case. I added water to the top because... Even this Pro Mix has peat moss in it. And if you've ever worked with peat moss, it just does not absorb water sometimes. So sometimes to get that wicking going, you gotta water from the top down and that'll start the process. I'm not gonna do that very often. I don't want dampening off disease. You can see right in the middle here, I've got two, two tomatoes that are down. And <laughs> that might be dampening off. You can see this poor guy right down there and this guy right there. That might be dampening off. So that is something to watch. I'm going to be watching for that. I do not want these tomatoes to get dampening off. But I've got really good germination going on with the tomatoes. Um, these guys here. This is cherry. Cherry. Two rows of cherries. So these are the cherries. Three rows of San Marzano right in front of us here. And then the alpaca romas 
uh, right in here. So a couple of the apacaromas got a little uh, got a little disease there or something. So I'm going to be watching that. We do not want dampening off disease. We don't want it. It'll be it'll go through this tray and wipe everything out. We'll be starting from zero again. But uh, yeah, this this is the real advantage of using a real simple system like this. I can I can get to the plants. I can water. I can take care of them. I can actually um, and with this wider shelf, I can set up another row. So that's for the grow your greens challenge. We'll be getting that going here soon. So that's all I really wanted to show you guys is how to do this again. Um, two by fours, scrap pieces of wood, really. Oh, and these straps here, this is, you find this in the plumbing, plumbing area to get these straps to take care of these, uh, the conduits, attach them to the, to the, uh, the two by four. And it's really simple. You need some tin snips, snip a piece about six inches long, drill it, uh, screw it down and it's stable. Like I said, this thing is not going anywhere, which I love. So, um, you know, plumbing area, two by fours, plumbing area to get the, the, um, the PVC, eye hooks down in hardware, screws down in hardware, you're in business. Uh, also, you can see I've got heating mats. I've got two bulbs. Those are aquarium bulbs. I got them at Menards for like 10 bucks. This is, again, heating pad. I've got an extra heating pad over here for the other, when we get the greens going. This all comes in, ties in to a real simple surge protector. And uh, everything else is on a timer. Now I will say, I've got a, a ground fault interrupter right there, and it did not like these aquarium bulbs. It kept popping the circuit. So that's something you gotta keep an eye on, you know, so you don't lose all your light. So the tomatoes here got a little leggy too, but I've been keeping the light really close to these guys, letting them firm up. We want nice, healthy, thick stems on these tomato plants. And uh, I might pl plant some more dill. We're going to use a lot of dill this year, so I might plant some more of that. All right, guys, this is Tom from Small Scale Life. I hope this helped. And, uh, you know, check out the blog, check out the podcast, and uh, we'll check you all soon. Thanks, everybody. Take care. If you like this, hit subscribe, of course. Talk to you soon, everybody. Bye.